In this video I'm going to demonstrate how I reinstalled an aluminum door threshold after we had some porcelain tile installed. First I put the threshold in place and then I used my drill with a masonry bit to make marks where the holes would go. After the marks were made I used a trick that I found from another YouTuber. All you do is take some plumber's putty and then make a little moat and then fill it with water. This serves to keep the diamond tip bit on the drill cool so that it'll last longer. And when you start drilling, you have to start at 45 degrees and then slowly transition to 90 degrees. This keeps the bit from skipping all over the tile. And porcelain tile is really hard, so it does take a long time to drill through it. After several minutes of drilling on the porcelain, I could feel it give way and started digging into the mortar. So I swapped out the diamond tip bit with just one of your normal masonry bits. So I finished off with the masonry bit and thought, hey, I should let the dog in. He's always so supportive of my home improvement projects and never acts like a dick. I repeated my steps for the middle hole and then the side hole. I just used the diamond tip bit to make it through the porcelain and then once through that switched out to a masonry bit to make the hole deep enough for the screw anchors. Then I inserted the screw anchors. They were actually drywall anchors, but whatever, they worked fine. I just tapped them in with a hammer. For the screws that hold the threshold in place, I just hand tighten them down. It's probably possible to use a drill and be completely fine, but at this point I was too paranoid at the end of the project to possibly crack a tile or something, so nothing wrong with a screwdriver every now and then. It came out pretty nice, it was planted nice and firmly to the floor, and the rubber meets the door and makes a pretty good seal. And here's a shot of that. This is just a shot of the bit after drilling the holes. If you notice it's hollow, and it has a clearing hole on the side that will clear the junk out as you're drilling, so you don't have to worry about manually cleaning it out or anything. The tip still had plenty of texture on it after these holes, so I'm pretty sure I could get through porcelain again a few times with it if I needed to. Which is good because at 18 bucks it is kind of pricey for a single drill bit. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button.